Welcome to Bloodborne, my favourite of the front software games. Now, I want to acknowledge something just straight off oh, the bat. Yeah. If you saw my Pale actual first episode, kind of first episode, <laughs> you understand this is actually my second time doing this. Well, you've come to the right it's because I messed up in episode two. Yarnum is the home of blood Let me let this play, and then I'll explain. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Indeed I shall, and indeed I already have one. <laughs> yeah, so, what happened was, during the second episode, I thought of something, and I thought, oh, this is amazing, I can't believe I thought of this. This is a great idea. I went and did that something, and it messed up so much stuff. Oh god, it, it messed up so much. Um, I also can repick my class here, since I'd want to go with something with good skill and good arcane. That is... Hmm. I reckon this is best for the set. It's the one I went with before, but I need arcane and skill. And this seems like the highest arcane without losing a lot of skill. Yeah, it is. I'll go with this. This is the one I chose before anyway, but I wasn't sure if something else fit the description better. This dude I made. Yeah, so what happened was... I'll explain after the next cutscene. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot. I can't believe I did it. It's it's so stupid. I, couldn't, I didn't even know that could happen, honestly. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> Creepy ass old man. I don't care that he's in a wheelchair. He's still creepy. Maybe even more creepy because of it. Whatever this eye thing is. Pointing down at me. And then big old furry boy. Alright, so there's no dialogue here. So I'll explain now, actually. So... The first episode went fine, it went great. Second episode was going great, then I had the amazing idea to go get an, uh, an end game item. Well not end game, but like mid game item. Really early because I'd used a skip to open up the path to the shaded forest. So I thought, let me go get the uh, bloodstone, the stone that lets me um, be teleported to the nightmare. From patches, essentially. Well the patches of this game. However, if you do that, he takes over everyone you try to talk to in the house. So whenever you go to whatever house, he takes over, essentially. He tells you, oh, you just go to the nightmare, go to, you'll get loads of strength, go to this place. No matter who you go to, it really messed it up. So, I, I got screwed out of doing, like, um, some side quest stuff that I wanted to do. So I decided... Rather than just mess around and see if I can get it to where everyone else starts talking again, maybe if I went to the, go to the nightmare, it'll stop uh, appearing in the windows and doors. I decided I'll just restart this area. So I wasn't that far in. I'd only just be in Gascoigne. Like I beat Gascoigne in that episode, but I wasn't that far in. So I decided, screw it. I'll just restart this area. It'll be fine. I wasn't that far in. I'm not supposed to be hit there. I am still going to do the skip because I should be safe to go get the stone after I've been to um, Cathedral and I've gotten all of the people that I need to. The little girl, the lady of the night, the old woman, old crone. Once I've gotten all of them, I should be able to um, take the amygdala to the nightmare in order to get the chalice 
in order to get my lost um, blades of mercy. Come on. Right. Supposed to wait here. No, not doing it. Okay. I'm going to show this on camera, like the first attempt, but then I'm probably going to start cutting attempts out because last time I did this, it took me like an hour just to do this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, he injured me, so I'm going to... Am I alive? No, I'm dead. Okay. Yeah, so I'll be right back after I've done this. You saw the way to do it anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, then I'll open up that thing, and then I shall see you then. Alright, I got it. Took about another hour, just like the first one did, but I, I did it in the end. Let's open you up. Don't you come at me. You stay out there. Now then. Didn't have to use my heels that time, unlike the last time I did this. But let us go and deal with the Mind Flare. I did not mean to do that. Now I will say I do want to die. Because I do need to go to the Dream. In order to get my weapon. Because I don't want to do Fist, fist that much. Fist do so low damage. But at the same time, I don't want to die to this thing or the werewolf, because the werewolf is easy. This thing is gross. There we go, Jesus. That took a while. So if you don't know, with this game you can't do regular backstabs, you have to do a charged um, R2 first onto the back. I have to hit directly on the back, essentially. I guess the hitbox is a bit finicky, but it basically has to be in the back. If you can call it the back, you need to hit there. This thing likes to move. Oh, if only I had the reach to hit him there, I would have got it. I also, last time I was here, did not get the Korean mana thing. I figured that it wouldn't be there and if I figured if I went up there too early it would mess some stuff up. But no no I should be able to go up there I think. At least I hope so because I don't want to mess up again and have to restart the game again. Come on. I just need you to die mind flare. Are you serious? It'd be easy if I did it with both hands. I'll try it with both hands, I don't know if it'll be easier. Or faster. Nope, that didn't work. So, let's distract ourselves a bit. My Hero Academia. Deku's um, vigilante arc is uh, coming. Now, firstly, since I haven't seen the manga, I don't know much about it. But it is something I am very much looking forward to because I've realised the more I grow, I adore things. I don't want to go up there. Yeah, I want to wait until at least Hilfiger's um, clinic is open, then I'll go up there and get it. Because I don't want her to, like, not spawn. Wait, she might still be there. She might just, like, be there in person. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't want to risk it. Why the hell were you still out here? That's unsettling. Maybe I could... I mean, I, I plan... I need to die to go to the dream anyway, so... in here there's chairs and freaking beds everywhere this place is horrible uh 
Come on. I understand this is a very bad start to an episode. I, I apologise for that. Usually I'm not really this slow. The blue bond is just very peculiar. Ah, see, kill me. It's fine. We'll go wreck him with the cane in a moment. But first, to the dream with us. The loading times are awful in this game. Then let's hurry this along. Get uh, get my cane. Thank you. Get my pistol. Thank you. No, stop trying to freaking do that. Alright, let's hurry this along because I do feel bad about how I saw this. I really want to speed things up a little bit. It's been about ten minutes already, and all I've done is get behind a gate. I'm not supposed to be able to get behind. Then again, they've never patched it out. So I don't know how they feel about it. I mean, they know about it, surely. Like, from software. I don't, there, there are other things like that as well in the games. Like in Dark Souls um, 3, there's the tree skip, which has been there since launch. Like, there's no way they don't know about it, yet it's still there. That's oh, crap. Yeah, so I don't know how they feel about certain glitches. Don't skip. Maybe they just uh, enjoy the fact that people find a way to get around certain bits like that. I think so. That could be fun. If they're like just good sports about it. Granted, any major budget uh, folks will of course need to be uh, got rid of. But something like that just helps speed things along for speedrunners. It's a fun thing they found. And it's a fun thing to use if you're not trying to answer some people because, or if you're trying to just speed ahead in the game. Like, that just goes straight to Shade of Blood so you can get all the weird Shadows of Yarnum in the first, like, what, 20 minutes? 10 minutes? Depending on how fast you can get that skip with the werewolf. Because you can run past a lot of things in the game. So technically, once the only bit you really need to do is um, deal with that werewolf, like get behind the gate, and then you can just run to the shadows, I guess. I've never personally done it that way. I always, I love going this way, Central Yarnum. Of course, I'm not much of a speedrunner, as I've stated multiple times. Just like you. Yep. So I'm not really taking my time with this dude, but uh, <laughs> the only really good thing he gives is the flame um, spewer, flamethrower. By the way, there's a video online by the um, the channel called The Backlogs, where he uses the flamethrower for, I think, all of the video, like an entire run. He does a challenge run with it. It's an amazing video. Then again, I love all of his videos, so it's definitely bias. Stop it. I'm going to be trying to speed through a little bit just to try to make this first episode more eventful. Get close to where I got to with the second episode, which was. I'm not going to get to Gascoin, of course, because that means I have to do all the sewer bit, and that is just, I'm not going to get there. But I can definitely get pretty far just in the first bit of Central Yarn. I definitely took my time a bit more in the first episode on my, you know, first playthrough. But I don't feel like I need to. Because it's not as if, like, granted, you want to take in the grandeur of the world. But I've already messed up, so this is me recovering from it, essentially. This is my penance. And there'll be loads of time to like make up for later on because once I get past Gascoin it's 
all new territory as far as playthrough is concerned. Granted, I didn't of course upload the second part where I killed Gascoigne, but I recorded it. I just had to delete all my recordings. Because it, it is just better to just restart it. I wasn't that far ahead, may as well. You can also drop down there, by the way. That's where you run across from the um, lamp, in case you don't want to fight those dudes. Are you that outsider? Indeed I am. Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? My, how unexpected. Are you that outsider? Well, Are they trot just going to repeat the same thing? Okay, didn't mean to do that, but okay. Flame Molotov... Also, um, I found out that to get the special emblem, emblem to uh, access the grand, like, um, courtyard, you actually need to kill the cleric beast. I'm sure I knew that at one point, but I just forgot. But uh, while I was researching to try to see if I could recover my other run, uh, before I decided to just abandon the whole thing, I was looking up how to get to the freaking... Um, church, you know, where the amygdala is, so I could maybe teleport there and see if that get, gets rid of patches, and it turns out you need to kill the cleric beast, which, considering I killed um, Father Gascoigne, it wouldn't have been too hard, but I really wanted to try to save the cleric beast for a bit, you know, because he's an actual boss like the gargoyles were, and I bided my time fighting them until I was basically the end of my run. I was like as high level as I could be. Well not as I could be but high, high level as I wanted. My build was all done and I destroyed those goddamn goggles. It's also kind of a wasted effort because I did uh, grind a little bit to just get a bunch of blood vials so I didn't have to spend eight loads that time and um, later on in the run grinding them. Because that's always a pain. But uh, that was all for nothing as well. I'm a good sport about it. I don't mind. I messed up. It was my fault. So it, it makes sense. I have to put in the time to rectify it. It's just annoying, as I'm sure you can assume. Or is it, if you've played the game yourself and you've messed up in that way, I'm sure you understand how annoying it is having to recover from something like that. Essentially having to restart all the progress I've done. Then again, it hasn't even been 10 minutes since I've been in Central Yarnum, I don't think. Yeah, no, it hasn't even been 10 minutes since I'm already close to where I ended the first episode. Granted, I got all the way around the bridge last time. But that's just basically around the corner. All this architecture, the gothic feet and freaking scenery and stuff, just reminds me of Vampire. Vampire. I never finished the game. I got decently far, but I never ended up, you know, finishing it off. I'm pretty sure I still have it because it was like a PS Plus thing, so it's like in my library. But I just have no desire to go back to it, like at any point, more. Um, at least anytime currently or close by. Just because I have so much stuff on my PlayStation that I need to play. I need to get through. I need to finish my Tales of, um, you know, run through to get the Platinum. That Platinum is horrible. Like, I looked it up, all the trophies I was missing. Um, I think I've explained before that the that the one trophy I'm not confident at getting is the 10,000 chips one because it's like 100,000 chips because it's like a gambling thing it's it's gonna take hours and likely days to get that because it will just be a lot of grinding in the freaking casino place however I didn't realize some of the others that were on there are just they're horrible uh, it, it's gonna be a grind but I really really want that platinum because I, I adore the game. I love it so much. I got it on Switch. I have it on my PlayStation, but I got it on Switch as well. The problem was, the moment I got it on Switch, the moment it arrived, I was like, 
I can't get trophies for this. I can't get any achievements. I want the achievements. I want to play it on my PlayStation first. Uh, so I have to go through it on my PlayStation. Jesus, I hate you, idiot. So I'm going to have to go through it on my PlayStation first, get all the trophies, get the platinum, and then I will let myself play it on the Switch. Uh, my mind works in horrible ways sometimes. It's really unfortunate. I don't reckon you're from but hell, I adore the game, so... See, what I currently have to do is... For a lot of the um, trophies in that game... Well, I say a lot. A decent amount... Where the hell is it? Yeah, a decent amount of the trophies involve doing a certain action in a battle. In order to, like... Yeah, you have to do a certain action in a battle. Like, um, and there's, like, multiple battles with um, the same enemy. So it's, like, it specifies, like, the second battle or the third battle or the first battle with this specific um, character. God damn it. No. I'm not going to die to a dog. Uh yeah, so there's multiple characters, uh, multiple enemy characters, where you have to fight them a certain way, or you have to defeat them in a certain way, or use a s certain move on them, or a certain item, in order to get the trophy. And so, I don't think I'll be very thorough in my playthrough, because I was pretty thorough in my first one, when I first played it, and I enjoyed it then. I enjoy it now, but it's basically just a run through to get trophies. I've heard I have. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Well, if you want to, you're off to what you're best, and you can. Yeah, yes, good. Go. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's fine, actually. I was thinking um, it was bad time and I won't be able to send her to the um, cathedral, but now I will be able to. Because I need to defeat Gascoigne, and then I can get the, um... Well, I can't get the stone yet. I have to talk to all the NPCs first, and I have to get all the quests done. Get everyone I need in the, um, cathedral before I go get that stone. Because I don't want them messing up again. Because that was horrible. Okay. About half an episode, and I basically got to where I ended the first one. Granted, in the first one, I did fight the Cleric Beast at least once, so I'm going to do that this episode. But hell, I'm probably going to beat him. Just because I believe I have all the necessary requirements to upgrade my weapon. I believe I do. I don't think it, I won't have enough to upgrade it twice, unfortunately. But I should have enough to upgrade it at least. Should I go kill him now? That was a stupid idea. Uh, should I go fight the Claret Beast now? Let me, um... Let me think about it. Yeah, I will. I'm going to go back to the dream. I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to get my weapon upgraded. I'm going to upgrade myself a little bit. So I'm not as, as squishy because I'm... I am so squishy right now. Look at my health bar, it's basically non-existent. It's awful. I, I love doing something like that, just learning an enemy so much, knowing them, and then being able to destroy them in such a manner. It's what I loved about the Pontiff fight, because I don't think I've ever explained it. I am going to explain it more in depth once I get to Dark Souls 3. But to give a quick summary, the reason it's my favourite boss in the in all of the games, every single one, Bloodborne included, is because of how that fight went down. Oh yeah, I need to die to Claret Beast in order to unlock you, so I can't upgrade yet. Hi, German. Upgrade you. Thank you. Ah, uh, well, ah, uh, just you. This was well. You creepy old man. Uh, hate you, Gerben. Bandit door, bandit. Yeah, I can't upgrade. God damn it. That's fine. 
Yeah, so the reason he is my favourite is because of how the fights with him went down. In It wasn't even my first playthrough. It was like my maybe third, fourth, maybe. Essentially, I just kept dying to him. And despite that, I was smiling. I was enjoying it. I was loving it. Because each time I fought him, I got a little bit farther. I learned him more and more and more. I, I'd, of course, beat him before, but... I didn't get the sense of learning him the way I had that playthrough. I was, <laughs> I was devouring him, his knowledge, his attacks, his movements. Granted, um, it could have been way better. I fully understand that I got hit a lot in the round. I had to beat him. I didn't parry him, which I understand is a good thing to do for Pontiff. I'm probably going to be doing it when I get to Dark Souls 3 after this, because I've deeply enjoyed starting to do parries a lot more. Like, I've been doing them in this game. I didn't, I didn't realize how much I loved them. Granted, it, it's of course different in this game compared to the others, but it doesn't change the fact I am adoring. Don't you get over it. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I messed up. There we go. Okay. I don't really... I really need to look up like videos or something of someone parrying the Claret Beast. Because I would love to see something like that. Oh crap! Oh crap! Well that was unfortunate. Uh, it's fine. Death is inevitable. I wonder if it will let me upgrade now. No, I think you need to die to Claret Beast, or you need to get to a certain point in the game and die, and then it will let you upgrade. Well, level up, not upgrade. Upgrading and leveling up are two different things. Upgrading is for weapons. So, I have heard, also, sorry about the constantly changing topics, but things just keep popping into the head. It's better than being empty-headed, I guess. Uh, no fog in the brain, thankfully. Currently, at least. Yeah, so I heard that Hogwarts Legacy was... Uh, the date of it was removed. It might still be in February, it might not, I'm not sure. I'm kind of hoping it isn't, because that would take a lot of pressure off, because I want to play it um, on here. And of course, it's kind of hard to do three games at once. I... I didn't like doing it before when I, oh no, this is bad, this is very bad, this is very bad. Yeah, I didn't like doing it before when I was doing Horizon and Dark Souls and God of War. Was I doing all three of those at the same time? Yes, I was, because I needed to get God of War out. Oh, crap. He input read me. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Okay. Woo. High stakes. High stakes. Got my health back. Why do I keep attacking the moment I dodge? No, he's, he's not attacking then, I need to wait. See, it's because I'm panicking, I'm like just instantly uh, pressing it. Yeah, okay, there we go. Just make things a bit easier. Ooh, health. Awesome. Okay. I'm panicking. There we go. Okay. There should be one more enemy I need to parry. And um, I used way too many bullets for this. I wasted so... Oh, wait a minute. I wasted so many of them. But I can get some back. 
Thank you. He's a good farm for Blood Bullets early game if you need to farm him. I do also want to point out if you want to get um, some early game like Blood, blood Bullets, not Blood Bullets, um, Silver Bullets, and also Blood Vials, um, they're really cheap at the store in the Dream. But you know, I'd say get them before you defeat Gascoin. Because once you defeat Gascoin, they like double in price. So I'd reckon. If you need them, buy them before you go and fight Gascoin. He gave four, that's weird, he usually gives two. Yeah, get them before you go and um, fight Gascoin because they will be really cheap. And it's, it's really good to go grab them then. Ah, oh, crap, I missed him. Seriously? I need to hit him in the head because that's where... Are you serious? Are you serious? Dude! What the hell's happening? What is happening? What the hell was all that? That was crap. What I was trying to show off there, unsuccessfully, is that if you hit him in the head like that with a Molotov, then he'll get stunned like that and you can do a post. You can do that with a Molotov. And I did it last time and I really wanted to do it again. But Clarabee said no. Seem to have gone in in a loop. I don't quite understand the loop. I don't mind it. He's like going mad. Giving me a free one. Granted, Clarity isn't that hard normally, but this is just sacked. So, um, in case all the blood didn't uh, like give it away, with beast enemies or just enemies in general in this game, if you hurt a specific like body part enough, it gets like injured or broken, whatever you want to call it, and it will take more damage. And you can, like, I think break them multiple times, I think. I don't know what he's doing there. I've never known what that was. I'm just, uh, why, am I, why am I doing that? I'm firing into nothing. I'm trying to get closer and just trying to keep me away. You're a melee boss. You want me closer, Clara Beast. What are you doing? single blood bullets. Well basically you trade some life for bullets. It's really good if you need if you're using like a specific like weapon uh, that needs a, a blood bullet to fire. Okay that went very differently from my other playthrough. I was not able to beat him like that. I kept, I died like three times to him. That was... Well, damn. I, uh, 
You weren't supposed to die there, Cleric Beast. I still have like five minutes left of an episode. Seven, maybe. Why did you die there, my friend? Um, I guess we'll finish off this area? Yeah, that seems best. But yeah, I do want to show this off actually. Because I, I didn't show this off because I went a different direction. But I need to show you where this leads. Come on. Come over it. <laughs> oh wow. There we go. Come on then. Ow! I hate the fire. I hate the axe, guys. Oh my. I don't mind you. <laughs> it's definitely not biased because you just gave me a Molotov. Okay. Didn't quite get them both in that attack, but it's fine. I got them both anyway. Love the cane so much, so underutilized. It is just so good. The problem is, it falls off much faster than the other weapons. In fact, you, you can say the other weapons don't even fall off. Like the axe and the sword cleaver are like main weapons. You can keep them from the like start of the game to the end. You can, of course, keep this weapon from the start of the, start of the game to the end, but its actual damage in terms of weapons is like for the end game when you have like all the weapons that maximum upgrades. This is, I reckon, one of the worst in, as far as damage goes. Just because its it, its damage just does not get as high as the others. Hence why it's overlooked a lot. But it is such a good weapon. Uh, so this is, you probably recognize it already, that's where we fought the crows, that's where the Molotov was, that's where the dude is. Alright, so let's get back up here. Back to work. Because we have a few more places to go, I reckon. Well, I reckon I can get to a few more places before the end of this episode. And this will have been far more productive than the first one. Sorry I keep mentioning it, but it's, it's kind of hard not to. I, I'm still, like, kind of reeling from the loss. Granted, it wasn't the best. The second episode as well. Just, it was alright. Not my best work, unfortunately, which is even more unfortunate considering my affection, I guess would be the best word for it, for this game, being my favourite of the titles. And to be honest, blitzing through it like this, just running through the whole thing at such a speed with such knowledge, it is very, oh no, it is very enjoyable. I didn't think the rats would be this squishy. I didn't think they died this easily. Okay. Oh, you're almost dead. Awesome. Ooh. Well, this made things a lot faster. I can farm them. <gasps> Ooh, I can get all the shards I need from those idiots. I did not know that. You fell through the world. Now right, we're not quite done up here though, so let's get back up here. Am I? Yeah, I'm all bloody from my freaking fighting. There's a. You do need to be bloody for a specific thing uh, later on, but I shall. Did you? Oh, that was weird. He weirdly survived it. He like bounced off the side and landed on his feet, and he didn't take the damage he should have. Yeah, I hate you, so you can die. I hate those ones. They are awful. Oh, did you? Oh, you died. Awesome. Yeah, those ones, the spear ones, some of the worst enemies in the game. They are so hard to deal with normally. The only reason I'm not having trouble is because for some reason I'm just on demon time with the goddamn parry. Nice bloodstone shard. I don't know what is happening right now, but I am 
I am blazing through. I'm gonna do another episode after this. Oh no, no, I should um, I should upload this just to get it out there as an apology for, because I had to delete my other one of course. So I should really upload this. So I'm gonna do that rather than upload the, uh, record another one. If I have time, I will record another one after I've uploaded. But we will have to, well I'll have to wait and see if that comes to pass. Ah, Hunter's Attire. Much better. During like my platinum run of the game, um, I used the Knight's Attire. I'll show it off later in the game when we get to Kane first. But it is, it looks so good. Essentially, I would compare the Hunter's Attire to the Beast Jewel, like the actual garb itself almost looks bestial. Like the helmet, the hat, looks as if it's got feathers, it looks freaking like a bird. It looks animal-like, essentially. With like the flowing um, cape. Whereas the knight's attire looks really formal, looks dignified. It's way different than most of the other armor in this game, and I, I love it so much. The whole color scheme of the red and white as well. It looks so good. Alright. I do want to end the episode soon though. I reckon I'm going to end it in just a moment. Once I've got it. I'll go deal with the pig. And I'll get the elevator shortcut and then I'll end things there. But so far, I'm really glad I've restarted actually. Granted, it feels bad losing progress. But at the same time, this run just feels better. I just feel more invigorated, I guess, would be the best word. I feel more on point. I'd say, I guess it does make sense. The first one was like a getting me back up to speed with Bloodborne. This one's seeing the fruits of that labour with me all caught up once again. Ooh, that was nice. Ow, that was not nice. Bloodstone Shard. Blood Vial. I have so many shards. Will I be able to upgrade again? I don't have five, do I? Really, you're just going to sit up. Oh crap, it's already moving. It's already moving. Run, 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 run. You want to get ahead of it so that it doesn't run down the freaking tunnel and block you in. Sorry, Piggy. You dead. You're not dead. Hold on. Alright, now then. Um, material 6. I can upgrade again. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That we're almost at the end. You can get through Central Yarnum really quickly. Like I, I had no idea you could just blaze through it at such a speed. Granted, there's still stuff to do here. Don't get me wrong. Like we still got a bit of exploring to do in this area. We need to find the girl. We need to um find Eileen. Which I will talk about the whole Eileen situation next time. Because I still need to work out what I'm going to do for that, whether I have to kill her or not. I really hope I don't have to kill her. If I need to, it's going to happen though. Sorry, Eileen. Necessary sacrifice for the uh, series. And so I can just parry him, but I've parried like every single one of these dudes I've come across. May as well take this one out like this. Alright. Yeah, it's really easy to restock on blood vials in this uh, early area. Really easy to farm as well if you need them. Okay, so bought loads of runes. Not runes, but blood echoes, you know what I mean. And I should be able to upgrade again. So I'll end the episode in the nightmare. Well, in the. Not nightmare, but it's not waking world either. It's the. Um, yeah, I could, the dream. I'd, I'll end it in the dream. Because nightmares and dreams are two very different things in this world. 
There's basically two nightmares. And then there's one dream. But then there's also a second or well, third nightmare, kind of. It's the DLC. is like the third nightmare. But that's a whole different thing. For now, let's go level up. And then we can end the episode there. Ah, oh, crow feather gob, Eileen. Yes, you're awake. Thank you. Yes. Get you to 10, you to 10, you to 15, you to 11. All right. I'm not going to level up Blood Tinge at all because um, Blades of Mercy scale with Arcane and Skill, so I need to upgrade my Arcane and Skill. And I reckon I'm going to leave my Vitality and Endurance likely at 20 just to deal with some of the DLC bosses because they hit like a truck. Farewell, good hunt. I would like to say I'm confident enough to take them on without that much health and um, endurance, but I, I'm not. They're, they're so strong. They're all so strong. Alright, uh, that should be enough to upgrade you. Yes, it is. Wonderful. Redicane plus two. <laughs> uh, I do enjoy it. Alright, so I'm going to... Oh, wait, do I get any scaling? So, E, B, D. What's my current stats at? No, what's my current weapon at, anyway? Um, e, B, D. So, it stays the same. Yeah, so I'm going to leave things there. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment. All the good stuff. I will see you all later. Hope you enjoyed the first episode. Well, the revamped first episode. But, yeah. Uh, have a good day. And goodbye.